Good to see you, Creator. This video tutorial will provide information on a Lua script that when installed on OBS Studio will provide both a countdown and when it reaches zero will switch to a scene of your choice. I'll show you where to find this, how to install it, how to get it all set up for your live stream. Let's get some. If you're new to my channel, I want to let you know that I provide comprehensive and fun tutorials on learning the technology that helps you grow here at the venue. If you're interested in that kind of content, subscribe and click the bell so that you get notification when my new videos come out every single week. Okay, the first step is to download the script and we need to go to the OBS website to find it. You can Google it. I'm also gonna provide a link to the description that'll take you there as well. If you're gonna Google it like I am, just type in the following, count down timer with optional next scene. And for some reason, he puts 012 in the title. So if you type 012 and hit enter, the first thing that pops up on Google is the link. So click that. And here it is. We're at the blue website that keeps you guessing. And the white button in the upper right-hand corner, if you click download, download that thing to your computer. Okay, now that we've downloaded the script, now we have to move it into the right folder inside of OBS. So open up OBS Studio. Now here's a random scene that I've created. Click Tools at the top. Subchoice scripts and a box appears. I want you to click the plus sign at in the lower left hand corner here. And now what I'd like you to do is scroll up and select the downloads folder on the left. That's where the new Lua script resides. Select the countdown days.lua script and hit control X. We're copying it out of downloads. Now there is an arrow. On the left, I want, it says back to scripts, okay? Click that arrow and it will take you back to the original location that it showed. This is the default location where your Lua script should reside because OBS assumes that when you click the plus sign, it shows you this location. So that's where this thing has to reside. Hit Control V, which pastes it, and now the countdown days dot Lua is there. Now hit the open button and it will run the script for the first time. Boom. Okay, the next step is to actually shut down OBS Studio so that it can go out and re-grab the Lua script. Okay, so we'll just exit out. Okay, now we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes of this thing, and it's really important that you pay attention to exactly how I explain this, because if you don't follow sequentially, things can get a little screwed up. Sometimes the program gets funky and decides to shut down the program. It's not the fault of the script, it's just because of the way it's designed and it's not a big deal. Just simply follow the steps and you'll be fine. Here we go. We have two scenes created. One's called the timer, which will represent the actual countdown timer. And then I have another scene called rocket. That's what's gonna be redirected when the timer reaches zero. So let's go into the timer. And what we're gonna do is click the plus sign and select text as a source because that's what's going to be assigned the actual countdown timer and we have to create it so that the timer will show up so if you click text uh, let's name it count down timer okay hit okay and you can type anything in there but there has to be some text so i'll just type in text it doesn't matter because it's going to get replaced by the actual timer and I'm gonna select Anton as the font and it's gonna be size 256. It's always good to make it really big because if it's too big, you can always shrink it without loss of resolution. If it's really small and you have to make it bigger, then it gets fuzzy and ugly. So make the size fairly large at 256. Then I'm gonna hit okay and scroll down and just change the color to anything that is appealing. I wanna make it stand out. So I'll hit yellow, hit okay. I will scroll down some more and click gradient and make sure that the gradient is a color that stands out too. In this case, it'll be uh, white, which is cool. And I'll click the outline and make that black. I always like to surround my text in black because it makes it pop a little bit better. Then I'll hit OK. And I'll put that where I want to see the counter. In this case, I'll just put it dead center in the screen. And now I'm going to click Tools and Scripts. Now remember, the sequence that I'm about to explain is very important. Scripts. And here we are inside the countdown Lua. If you don't see this, you can click the plus sign and select it here, and it will load it, okay? But it should already be there. First thing is first, the timer source pull down here. If you click the pull down and you do not see your newly created source, which in this case is named counter timer, 
All you have to do is hit this recycle button and it will run the script so that it can go out and re-grab new sources, okay? Because it can't see them. You have to sort of kick it in the butt so that it goes out and re-grabs new stuff that's been created. So click that one time and go back to the timer source pull down and now you can see it, okay? That's important. That's step number one. Step number two is to designate the time. Do not select the Next scene here, see this thing? I don't want you to make the selection here first. What's important is that you select your minutes and seconds. In this case, I'm gonna make it one minute by hitting a one and 30 seconds by typing in 30. Now and only now can you now select the scene that you want it to switch to when it gets to zero. In this case, it would be Rocket. The second that I select that, the system will begin to activate the countdown, okay? Now, before I do that, I want to just explain this final text parameter. This is what you would uh, type in a, a, a word that is seen when it gets to zero. In this case, we're not really doing that, but I could say, here we go, right? Something like that, some text that would show up when it gets to zero, but we're not doing that. We're switching to a scene when it gets to zero. So I've designated the minutes and seconds. I'm now going to select the scene where we're going to go to rocket and we are ready to go when I minimize, when I close this, as you can see, the timer instantly begins to count down. Now, there's all this ugly zeros in here because we didn't select days or hours. So if you hit your Alt key and scroll this thing to the right, you can remove those zeros. And now we have a nice timer. You can also make it larger by grabbing a handle and stretching it out a little bit, okay? And that's how it's done. Now, I don't wanna keep you waiting. We'll just speed this up so that you can see that it actually works. And here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, switch. Yes. Woo, it works. Get some. All right. Excellent. Three, two, one, zero. Yes. Lift off. Lift off. So this is a very simplistic, awesome, awesome Lewis script that works fine with version 26. Now, if you're planning on playing music and you want to have the scene switch at the end of the song, you'll naturally have to know the song's length and plug it into the minutes and seconds here in the Lewis script. If you're interested in other ways to do creative scene switching, I've made a fairly popular video right here. Just click it and I'll see you over there. In the meantime, I'll see you in comments. Best wishes, stay strong and keep fighting. And remember, your struggle to win at YouTube is the actual value. I know it sounds crazy, but it really is. Stay strong, keep fighting, get some.